press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Abdurrahman Turkman from Afghanistan and in this video I am going to show you 5 ways to fix laptop battery no charging problem. If you are looking for ways to fix laptop battery problem then this is the video for you. In this video I am going to show you 5 different ways to fix almost any kind of laptop battery problem. So please watch this video till the end because you will learn a lot of great stuff from this video. And if this video helped you by any means then please share it with your friends. Sharing is always free guys, it doesn't cost anything. So please do share this video with your friends. That would mean a word for me. So with that being said, the intro. Okay, as you can see here, I have an HP laptop. When I click on this battery icon over here, it says 0% no charging, even though my charger is plugged in. And this is what happens when I unplug the charger. As you can see, it turns off right away. So, the first method is troubleshooting the battery. Okay, in order to start troubleshooting, first of all, go to start and click on settings over here. After that, select update and security. Now, from the left side, select troubleshoot. Now, there are a lot of things to troubleshoot for. Just select the power option from here. As you can see, this is the power. Just click on it. Then click on run the troubleshooter. Now this is gonna search if there's any problem in your laptop. If there's any problem with your battery, then this is gonna tell you the problem. So as you can see, mine is all fixed, but the problem is still there. As you can see, it's not even charging. Sometimes this method will work for you. If it didn't work, then you don't have to worry. Just proceed to next step. Okay, if the troubleshooting method didn't work for you, then you should remove the battery drivers from your computer. Here's how you can do it. First of all, turn off your computer. After that, remove the AC adapter. Then remove the battery as well. Okay, now start your computer without the battery. Just plug in the AC charger. As you can see, my battery is not there. So just start your computer without the battery. Okay, after that, remove the battery driver from device manager. Okay, in order to remove the drivers, first of all, go to control panel and then go to device manager. After that, select batteries and expand the list or double click on it. Now you can see there are two drivers. Just right click on it and uninstall it. Now uninstall the second one. Now you can see my laptop batteries are removed. Now battery icon is also disappeared from this from the taskbar. This method will also work on a laptops with not removable battery or non-removable battery. Okay, after uninstalling the drivers, turn off your computer. Okay, now put your battery back on. Plug in the charger, then start it. Now your battery problem should be fixed. So let's see. Okay, my problem is still there. In most cases, this trick will work. If this method works for you, then there are some things that you can do. Okay, if this method works for you, then charge your battery up to 100% after that unplug your charger and leave your battery 
until it comes down to 0%. Repeat this process two or three times. In case if this method didn't work for you, just like mine, then you, you don't have to worry. Just skip to next step. Okay, our next method is resetting or updating your bio settings. Sometimes updating or resetting bio settings will fix the problem. In order to update your bio settings, you have to note down your laptop's serial number, not model number or product number etc. Model number or product number can be assigned to multiple devices at the time, but serial number is assigned only on one particular device. That's why you should note down your laptop's serial number, not model number or product number. There are different ways to find out your laptop's serial number. First of all, look at the back side of your laptop. Serial numbers are usually printed there. If it's not there or it's completely wiped out, then there is another way to find it out using some CMD commands. Okay, first of all, open up CMD. Just go to start and type CMD. After that, type the following command. The command is WMIC space BIOS space get space serial number. Make sure you type serial number without space. After that, hit enter. And as you can see, here's my laptop's serial number. Just copy it. Now open up web browser and go to your laptop's manufacturer's official website. In my case, I'm using HP, so I'm gonna go to hp.com or HP official website. From there, you can download the software to update bio settings of your laptop. Okay, once it's open, make sure you are in software and drivers page. After that, it's asking you to give them some information about your product. In my case, I'm going to using an HP product, an HP laptop. Now it's saying, as you can see, here it says, enter your serial number. So I'm just going to paste my serial number here, which is this. Then click on submit. And as you can see, this is going to detect my laptop automatically. Okay, now it's going to give me some driver updates as you can see there are a lot of driver updates available for my laptop so i'm just gonna go and select bios which is fortunately available there's one update available just download this driver and install it into your computer once again my laptop is hp if your laptop is dell or acer or whatever laptop it is just go to their official website and download a bios update so now I'm just going to download this update. Okay, once the download is completed, just click on open. Click on yes. Just install the software into your computer. Make sure while using the software, do not turn off your computer. Okay, now click next. Now select the first option, which says update the BIOS on this device. It says restart is required. So I'm just going to click on next. Okay, as you can see here, it says, please make sure the PC is running on AC adapter. It says, do not turn off your computer. After that, click next. After that, it will update your system's BIOS automatically. If the updating BIOS didn't fix your problem, then you should restore your BIOS to its default settings. Here's how you can do it. First of all, turn off your computer and boot your computer into BIOS. Make sure your computer is completely shut down. Okay, now press the power button. After that, press F10 continuously. In your case, key combination might be different. All you have to do is get into bio settings. Okay, once you are in BIOS page, just press F9 from keyboard. Using arrow keys, select yes and press enter. Once it's done, just press F10 to save the changes and exit. Okay, now press enter. Now your computer will restart automatically. After this, your problem should be fixed. Okay, now let's see whether my problem is fixed or not. Nope, the problem is still there. If this method also didn't work for you, then skip to next step. Next step will definitely work for you. Okay, our next method is freezing the battery. According to the computer experts, they say freezing the battery will regenerate dead cells from that particular battery. I know it sounds kind of weird, but that's what it is. And some people agree with this theory and some don't. So I personally kind of agree with this because I think freezing the battery will regenerate the dead cells from a battery. 
So what do you think about this theory? Please let me know in the comment section below. I want to know your valuable thoughts. Okay, first of all, turn off your computer and take the battery out to put it in the freezer. So I'm just gonna take the battery out. Okay, once you have the battery, first of all, cover it with a plastic bag. After that, wrap it with a towel. So here's my towel. So I'm just gonna wrap it up like this. After that, put it in another plastic bag. Just cover the betty in a way so that it does not get wet in the freezer because we are going to put this for about 10 to 15 hours in the freezer. So I'm just gonna put it in the plastic bag like this. Then I'm gonna put this in my freezer. Okay, now I'm just gonna take this and put it in the freezer. Okay, this is our freezer. So I'm just gonna open it. And I'm gonna put it right there. Once again, put it in the freezer for about 12 to 15 hours. 15 hours is max. Okay, as you can see, now the time is 4:24 a.m. and I'm gonna take it out at 7 or 8 o'clock p.m. Okay, now let's take out the battery because it's been a while. As you can see, it's 7:14 p.m. and it's it's been quite a while. So let's take out the battery. So here is the battery. Oh, I think it's frozen. Okay, now I'm just gonna take out the battery. Whoa, it's completely frozen. The battery is completely frozen. And you can't feel it because I can. As you can see, it's completely frozen. When you take the battery out of the freezer, don't use the battery right away because it will be frozen. So just put the battery in a normal room temperature for about four to five hours. And after that, you can use the battery. So now I'm just gonna put it here for about four to five hours because now it's very cold and it's frozen. So I'm just gonna put it right here and I'll come back after a few hours. Okay, now it's been about four and a half hours and now my battery looks very good. My battery isn't wet or it, it doesn't have any moisture. If your battery has some moisture or it's wet, then you can use a towel to dry the battery out. Or you can also use hairdryer machine to dry the battery. So my battery is in perfect condition. So I'm just gonna plug it in my laptop. And hopefully this will fix the problem. Okay, now I'm gonna plug the adapter. Okay, now I'm just gonna log on to my computer. Okay, now let's see whether my problem is solved or not. Okay, my battery is still in same condition. Okay, once again, if this method didn't work for you, then proceed to next step. Okay, if the method shown in the video didn't work for you, then you should consider replacing your battery or charger. I have a friend who used to work in a computer repairing shop. 
When I told him my problem, he said you should change your battery or charger. I couldn't change my battery because my battery was kind of new, but my charger was kind of old because it was one or two years old. So I just tried to charge my laptop from someone else's charger and it was charging perfectly. So all the fault was on my charger. So that's why I'm recommending this trick to you guys. If you want to purchase charger or battery from the internet, then I will leave some links for you guys. You can check it out from the link given in the description below. So there you have it guys. That is my 5 tips to fix almost any kind of laptop battery problem. Please let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to share this video with your friends. And I'll catch you in the next one. Have a nice day.